Yo, what's up everyone? Do you edit still suck because you don't know how to make the smooth underline text animation? Well, don't worry because today I will teach you step by step how we can do it and everything you need to know. If you want my exact presets that I use for my edits to make them look the best as possible, make sure to check the first link in the description because I'm running a huge sale on my pay here right now. You can get 30% off of everything. It's a limited offer, so make sure to don't miss out. As you can see, I'm preparing an intro right now. <laughs> Another martini, Paul. And I want to add this smooth underline text animation. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to press on the top layer. And I'm going to create a new solid by pressing Ctrl and Y on my keyboard. Now go ahead and copy my settings. But you want to make sure that you use for the color, the color that you want to have your underline to be in. So I'm just going to paste my color and I'm going to go for a bright red. Press OK and OK again. As you can see, it now covers the whole screen. So what we're going to do is we're going to press S on our keyboard to bring up the scaling property. And we're going to disable constraining proportions. It's this little check mark next to the values right here. This basically just allows you to change the width and the thickness of your solid individually. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this value down first to the length that I want to have my underline in. So I'm just going to go to, let's say, 92. And then I'm going to bring the thickness down all the way from 100 to 1. As you can see, we have a thin line now that we can use. But I want to put mine below my text, so I'm going to go ahead, press P on my keyboard to bring up the position property and change the Y positioning till it is under my text, just like this. Now I only want my line to be at the end when the text is already fully visible, so I'm going to cut it right here. And also cut it at the end again. Now we're going to pre-compose the layer by pressing Ctrl, Shift and C on our keyboard and make sure to choose the bottom option and also enable this check mark. Press OK. Now we're going to add some effects to make it look more smooth. What we want to add first is a deep glow. To do that, just open your effects and presets panel on the right and search deep glow. Now just drag it onto the layer. As you can see, the background is black. To fix that, we're just going to go ahead to the left and press required for text and enable the check mark. Now we also want to put the radius down a bit, so we're going to put it from 250 to 200. Now we're going to add a drop shadow, so we're going to go ahead and search drop shadow in our effects and presets panel and just drag it onto the layer. I'm going to change the opacity from 50 to 100, the distance from 5 to 8, and the softness from 0 to 5. And I also want my line to move slightly, so I'm going to add an S shake so it doesn't look that stiff. So go ahead, search for S underscore shake, and then just drag it onto your clip. Now I'm going to change the amplitude from 1 to 0 0.05, and I'm going to change the frequency from 8 to 2, just so it moves a slight little bit. Now go ahead and preview it once to make sure that you're satisfied with your settings. As you can see, mine looks perfect, so now I'm going to add the fading up animation. To do that, we're just going to click on the layer and press S again to bring up our scale property. Again, disable constraint properties, a little check mark next to the values. And we're going to go to the beginning of the layer and create a keyframe and put the, the value from 100 down to 0. Now we're going to go to the point in time where we want our line to be completely visible and we're going to set the keyframe right there from 0 to 100. Teeny Paul. Oh. As you can see, if you play your clip now, you should see the line fading Teeny up, Paul. but it still doesn't look really smooth. So I'm going to go ahead and select the keyframes that we just created, right click on them, keyframe assistant and easy ease them. Also, I'm just going to direct the keyframes a bit further to the right, just so that by pressing down Alt on your keyboard and the values should stay the same. And now take a look at it. <laughs> As you can see, it now looks perfectly fine and you can now use your underlined text for everything that you want to do. If this tutorial helped you, make sure to like and subscribe and also leave a comment. Make sure to check out my page because I've got loads of tutorials covering After Effects and editing as a beginner. Also make sure to check out my Discord, the link's in the description and I'm there, you can ask me questions, I'll gladly help you. That's it and thank you for watching, see you next time.